I'll be showing you guys how to make Zhangzhou Langwu with crispy pork belly. It's that time of year, it's spring, beautiful spring day, and our mustard green has been growing beautifully in our garden. Uh, my mom has been picking the outer um, stalks of the mustard greens, and she has blanched them in hot boiling water, and then she has covered them and put a boil on top of it, and then she put a lid on it, and it has been sitting out for two days um, in room temperature. And we used this mustard green um, in stir fries especially with crispy pork belly and then we just eat it with rice uh, my mom says they used to eat this when they were in Laos it has a very kind of like wasabi uh, strong wasabi smell to it when it's done um, sitting out for two days and it has a very unique taste to it so any of you guys that have eaten this before this is super nostalgic to you guys but if any of you guys uh, want to try this dish this recipe is here for you guys. So let's go cook this Zhangzhou Langwu with crispy pork belly. My mom calls it Zhangzhou Langwu. <laughs> so yeah, let's go cook this. It's so delicious. Let's go. ジョンジーラジア。ジョンジーラジア。ジョンジーラジア。ジョンジーラジア。ジョンジーラジア。ジョンジーラジア。ジョンジーラジア。ジョンジーラジア。ジョンジーラジア。ジョンジーラジア。
nice and crispy. I'm gonna drain some of the fat out because it's a lot of fat. You don't want that in your stir fry. Okay, so I drained most of the fat off. I left about like a tablespoon of fat in there. And now I'm gonna add in some garlic and pepper that I mashed up in my mortar and pestle. So there's that. Add that in there and let that saute. So this, you guys can add as much pepper as you, as you guys like, depending on the spice level for you guys. Add a little bit. <coughs> I'm gonna add in the greens here that I have chopped a little bit smaller to bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna add those in there. bit of salt in there this is taste and it's totally optional but I like to also add some fish sauce in there so I'll add a little bit of fish sauce add in there all right I'm just gonna saute this until everything is nice and hot <clears throat> the greens are basically like malted so we don't need to cook it that much. Um, we just want to cook it until it's pretty much hot, nice and hot. All right, so that's basically it. We're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna serve it with some rice. Super easy. Let's go. So I have a plate of rice here, and all I'm gonna do is serve the stir fry <clears throat> like next to it, over it, however you guys like it, just like that. And that's it. So good. I love this dish. <clears throat> this dish can also be made uh, with the green bean pickled. My mom has done that too. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs>